Yeah. Hello, Mr. Meti HD. Yes, hi. I am calling on behalf of Aziz Yildirim. We want you as a new head coach at Fenerbahce Istanbul. Assalamualaikum my friends and welcome to the first episode of my Fenerbahce career mode on YouTube. A lot of you have waited for this moment and I've asked you first of all if you want to see this career mode with the face cam and here we got the face cam you guys wanted us this way and now we are going to start off with the career mode. I am going to be the manager of Fenerbahce Istanbul but you are going to be my assistant coaches so I hope you will comment under every video. Of course you can like the video if you want to, if you enjoy the series, if I should continue this. Make sure to hit that like button down below. Let's hit 300 likes at the first episode that would be crazy so we are going to start off a new manager career mode and we won't do anything of this so no increase of the budget and no global transfer network and we are just going to advance and we are going to pick up Fenerbahce because that is my favorite club but I'm going to play one season with Fenerbahce then I am going to pick out another team and you guys are going to decide which team I should take after Fenerbahce. So this is the first episode now where I'm going to play with Fenerbahce and my first career mode ever. Comment down below which team should be used in the second um, season. Yes, the first season will be with Fenerbahce and then in the second season I will use the team you want to see where I should sign next season. And of course we are going to start off in the first episode with some um, organizing and so on. We are going to do some transfers and so on. And you are going to tell me which player I should sign in the comments down below, please. And please, realistic transfers. So, for example, no Memphis Depay because this guy is young. He won't sign in the Turkish League, unfortunately, because he's so young. He has so much potential. Maybe some other players, for example, loan players would be a great idea. You can let me um, know your ideas in the comments down below. And maybe I am going to do a poll at the end of this episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Um, maybe I am going to post a link under this video in the description to ask you something. So always check out the description and there will be a playlist so you won't miss any episode of my career mode. Let's start. We are going to play on world class. We are going to start on world class because I am not that familiar with the game playing versus legendary at the moment. I am going to switch it later on when I get used to the game and then I will go on to legendary. Let's start the first, first few matches with world class and I am going to play the big matches and the important matches. So unfortunately some of you let me know that there is no... Um, Turkish Cup in the career mode that is really disappointing so here we got the name now I unfortunately don't have the Turkish letters for um, the normal name but we are going to apply and exit we got our stadium so squads used we are going to use the download latest of course we are not going to play in the European competition because we want to be like in real life we don't want to do a um, space career mode or whatever and um, so we are going to do it this is our settings and we are going to download the latest updates here we go if you have any suggestions to improve this career mode please let me know it you can write me a message on Facebook tweet me or whatever you can comment down below links are in the description for my social media so just tweet me guys and we are going to have a look now first of all um, for our transfers, which uh, players we are going to give away um, to, uh, and send to the transfer list and which players could be possible signings. And yes guys, here we go, we are in our emails and we should keep in mind, we are always allowed to let 5 players from a foreign country in the starting 11, so that is the um, 
these are rules in Turkey, in the Turkish league. You are allowed to use five foreign players and three are allowed to sit on the bench. So I am going to look for this um, rule and you can see it. we should sign a new um, striker. We are going to have a look for it. But first of all, you can see it. We are in the career mode and first of all, let us have a squad report. We got Matt Gunnock and I am going to keep this guy. This is our feature, future in our goal. Gökhan Gönel, Bekir, Bruno Alves, Janet Erkin, Emre, Mehmet Topal, Dirk Hoyt, who's going to retire um, after the season, I think, because he's already 33 years old. We got Musaso, we got Diego, Emmanuel Emenike, we got Erten, Alper Potok, Serdar, Mikhail Kadlec, Milos Krasic, Raul Mereles, Egemen, Selçuk Şahin, Volkan Demirel, Pierre Webo, Hasan Ali Kaldırım, Mehmet Topuz, Hakan, Samuel Holman, who's um, on loan at Bursaspor, um, yes, another goalkeeper who's on loan at Sivas, and Sali Ujan, who is at Roma. So here's the first question. There will be a poll in the description down below, and I want to know if I should get Sali Ujan back directly from the loan or at the winter break. You have to tell me that guys um, because I would love to get him back um, directly but I don't know if it, if it would be clever to let him play half a year at Roma and then get him back at the winter transfer window. So you have to tell me that but Sali Ujan is a great player. You can see the stats and um, I don't know what to say about it. I love this guy. I love this guy. So you have to tell me that. We got Ibrahim who's at Karabük Sport and this is our squad. And first of all, I am going to sell some players because I have um, some things in my mind. I want to get rid of some players. The first one, unfortunately, it has to be dum 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 Milos Krasic. I had, I, I don't know. I was so happy when Fenerbahce has signed him, but um, I'm not happy with his performance in real life and I would like to get rid of him. You can let me know what you think about this move. We can discuss about everything, guys. So let me know it in the comments down below, please. The next player we are going to get rid of is... Uh, where is she? Um, we are going to have a look what um, offer we can get for Pierre Webo because he's already 32 years old but brings us 4.3 million and these are the two players I'm going to, to uh, put on the transfer list. You can tell me which players I should um, put on the transfer list as well and I am going to show you now some ideas of players I would like to sign. And yes guys, this is the first player I would like to sign on Lowen. It is Levin Öztunali. Um, and I don't know, this guy is a beast. This guy is a beast. I am going to approach Bayern 04 Leverkusen for Lowen and um, hopefully it will work because I think this is a guy with a lot of potential and we will set a future fee of um, 5 million euro or not that much. We're going to go with 2.5 and hope for his um, sign of Leverkusen. And um, hopefully we can sign him for loan and then um, of course to buy him because he's a big talent. And um, I think everyone who, of you who plays a bit for career mode knows this guy and would be a lovely signing. The next signing I would like to do is Nadir Cifci. And um, I don't know what you think about it. He's a 5 star skiller. He's playing for Dundee United. And I think for a 22 year old guy, it would be an honor to play for a bigger club in Turkey and not for Dundee United. Nothing against the Scottish team. But he is crazy. And I would like to inquire about him. And the rest of this episode, you are going to decide which players I should sign in the next episode or which player I should um, approach about and um, you will tell me that and then in the next episode we will be so far that we can sign the first players we get the first office message messages and um, no we are not going to go for a ah, global transfer net net network no but um, they want 3.8 million euro what you what do you think about it let me know it please so i think that is a good price to sign a turkish striker as an alternative at uh, at the striker position 
and you guys have to tell me now you ha you have to help me in the preseason which players I should sign and I hope you will be active in the comments down below I think that will be a great series and um, we can see it international management um, transfer offer we got already an offer for Milos Krasic 2.4 million and we are going to do a counter attack of 3.6 million euro and hopefully we can um, get a good deal with Milos Krasic basically not a bad player he has a lot of potential and we get um, yes they are going ahead with it and um, he is going to um, sign for Aston Villa and before I'm going to keep on doing this episode now I am going to end it to let you know uh, to let me know what you think about the signings and what ideas you have and especially you should tell me how many times a week you would like to see the career mode every second day for example i think at the moment i'm still doing the tutorials so it will be more difficult to upload daily or every second day but um there will be on saturdays there will be a career mode episode that's for sure i don't know if i i am going to upload um during the week uh, an episode i don't know let me know what you think about it. hit that like button if you enjoy the series and we will see us next time subscribe if you're new to my channel and thank you for your great support we are seeing us next time peace